Chicken marsala. Is it French? Italian? A little bit of both? Even though it's incredibly popular, very few people actually know where this dish comes from. Campbell's challenged us to find the birthplace of this classic meal and the inspiration for their dinner sauce. Today, we're taking chicken marsala back to the source. Our research brought us to Skip and Holly, two food historians in Mystic, Connecticut. Hello. Hi, I'm Camille. Hi, I'm Skip Lombardi. Nice to meet you, Skip. Hi. This is Holly Hi. Chase. Nice to meet you. When I think of chicken marsala, to me it feels very French. The well, white wine reduction, that's you're doing the mushrooms, yep. Yep, that's like the whole it. thing that, feels... That is it. Sicily is apart from the rest of Italy. A lot of the names of places aren't even Italian. Marsala is an Arab name, and it means a, the, the port of Ali or the port of God. Marsala as the sauce is a French technique. In Sicily, it was a status symbol to have a chef that was French trained. These chefs were known as Manzu, which is the Sicilian dialect pronunciation of Monsieur. They had these chefs, these uh, Manzu chefs, who would cook essentially French food for them. This was what you cooked when you'd made it big. And one of the ways they did it was with more elegant and refined dishes that weren't drowned in tomato sauce. And veal marsala or chicken marsala are good examples of that. As far as where to go to get the best chicken marsala, being that it's this French, Italian, American thing now. Everybody says, nothing's like my mom's. Oh, this is an old Italian recipe. Even if it isn't that old, it's if, if it's what your mother made, it's your tradition. Well, your mom had to learn it from someone, and that was probably your grandmother, your Nona. That brought us to Inoteca Maria, a restaurant in Staten Island where the kitchen is quite literally run by Italian grandmothers cooking traditional dishes using their own family recipes. We assume you're Camille, Rosa. Rosa nice we got a different menu every day, different crema from different region from Italy. My recipe is made with the chicken cutlet, which I pound. Here, you do better with this. This is my own knife, I bring it from home. I got stopped by the cops going home last Sunday, and I said, oh my God, if he looks what I have in the back, I'm gonna get in trouble. I was speeding a little bit, but he was nice about it. <laughs> the butter and oil are ready. Uh -uh, shake off the flour first. There you go. Okay, perfect. And now, always put it away from you so that it doesn't splatter. No, that's okay. Those are things that I learned, believe it or not, from television shows also. <laughs> really? You're putting cheese in your egg. Yes. Everybody makes a... a different way. A different, way. A different way. What is that? This is a base, chicken base. See, I don't use that at all. It's the same thing if you put... No, no, sorry to disagree with you. That is salt. See, because I, I cook in a restaurant longer than you. Are you... Oh, no, no, I never cooked in a restaurant before. Oh. I love the interaction with the customers because they'll say, oh my God, that was awesome, that was so delicious. And I'm like, huh? What? What was delicious about it? This is what I do every day, you know? They were all like trying to catch my eye, like, mine's the best, right? Mine's the best. How are we supposed to respond to that? They're all, they're all delicious. They all agreed that you have to love cooking. And if you don't love cooking, food won't taste good. It's basically eating love when you're in an Italian house. It's wonderful to be here together with the other Nona, and it's a pleasure to have cooked with Camille. Okay, that's it. Okay, so we taste each other's food. Whose am I having here? So maybe I learn a new recipe that I can copy at home. 